lizards are an increasingly common sight in backyards in and around Victoria. The European wall lizard is an invasive species, but they're breeding here, well, like bunnies. More and more of the lizards have been spotted this year, but they actually have a longer history. They were first brought here in the 1960s by a local resident who owned a small private exotic animal farm in rural Saanich, just outside Victoria. They were later released into the wild when the business closed, but local residents started finding them in their backyards in the 1970s. Since then, their population has boomed. There are now hundreds of thousands, maybe more. When I moved here 11 years ago, I never saw any of them, but now my backyard is crawling with them. So I headed up to Saanich to talk to Richard Hebda, who was curator of botany and earth history at the Royal BC Museum for decades. He lives close to where those lizards were first released, and he found them in his garden in the 1980s after he built a freestanding rock wall which are perfect to hide if you're a lizard. We ended up creating a resort condominium for wall lizards. Even in January and February, they'd be out sunning themselves. They're all over the place. Since then, Richard has noticed the lizards have adapted to our local changing ecosystem. They're migrating from the rocks up into the vegetation like the trees. I found the same thing. One of them fell out of a tree on me the other day here in my backyard. But Richard says it's more than just a curiosity or cute animal story. The lizards are spreading all over Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands, and it's a sad reflection of the two biggest environmental challenges of our time. One of the issues is climate change, so we're changing everything. The other issue is biodiversity loss. And one of the transformative processes is the movement of species around the globe to places where they didn't grow. A new lizard, who knows what it's doing to our native, rich, ancient biological diversity of which we must be the stewards. And as it explodes, its impact is going to be greater and greater. So we must be concerned and maybe learn as much as we can from it 